Welcome to lesson four, pineapple salsa. Today, we're going to help children get more fruits into their diets by teaching them how to make their own pineapple salsa using pineapple, black beans, green bell pepper, cilantro, lime juice, salt, and pepper. We'll serve the salsa with whole grain tortilla chips. Our education piece centers around tropical fruits and the nutrients they provide. Let's get started. First, let's make sure that we have all of our ingredients. Using the prep list provided, check that you have pineapple, black beans, green bell peppers, cilantro, limes, salt, pepper, and whole grain tortilla chips. Now we need to check our equipment. Ensure that you have a bucket of sanitizer water with a clean wiping cloth and food service gloves. You'll also need a cutting board, a chef knife, a quarter cup portion scoop, a tablespoon measure, a garbage bowl, prep bowls with lids, and a marker for labeling them. Let's start prepping. I've already drained and rinsed the black beans and I've drained the juice off the pineapple. You can use fresh pineapple in this lesson, but using the canned is a huge time saver. Next, I'm going to dice the bell peppers, quarter the limes, and chop the fresh cilantro. Now we're ready to measure all of our ingredients. You'll need one container of each ingredient per group plus one for the demo. I'll start by measuring out the limes, putting two lime wedges per container, and then measuring the cilantro using the tablespoon measure with two scoops per container. Next, I'll measure the rest of the ingredients using the quarter cup portion scoop. Be sure to wash the portion scoop in between each ingredient or use a new one each time. I'm going to scoop two scoops of green bell pepper per container and four scoops each of the black beans and the pineapple.
And last, I'll sprinkle the green bell pepper with salt and pepper. Now we're ready to cover, label, and date everything. Be sure to keep everything refrigerated or packed in a cooler with ice until it's time for the demo. Now let's make sure we have all of the equipment we need for the demo. This includes a cutting board, a chef knife, zip top sandwich bags, plastic forks, serving spoons, mixing bowls, plastic spatulas, napkins, sanitizer wipes, food service gloves, the handout for the students, and crayons. Okay, let's head to our demo. We're here on site. I have Brent with me today. We're gonna wipe down the tables, set up the lessons, and get ready for the kids. All right, hi everybody. Hi. How are you? Good. Good to see you. My name is Chef Jen, and I'm from Northern Illinois Food Bank. We're gonna do a lesson about fruit. Who likes fruit? Me. Me, good, all right, I'm glad to hear it. So we're gonna talk about tropical fruits today. Does anybody know what a tropical fruit is? Has anybody ever had a mango? Yeah, how about a papaya? Yeah, how about pineapple? Pineapple is what we're talking about today. So we're gonna do a lesson about pineapple and we are gonna make salsa out of the pineapple. Who likes salsa? Okay, so sometimes when you eat salsa, you're used to seeing it red, right? It's got tomatoes in it. So this is a little bit different. We're making a salsa out of pineapple and black beans. Okay, has anybody ever had black beans before? Yeah, they're really, really good. Okay, so before we start on our lesson, I have three rules, okay? Can everybody look up here and listen? So my first rule is that everybody stay in their seats. Can everybody do that? Yeah. yeah, you guys are used to doing that all day in school, right? Yeah, okay, the second rule is while I'm talking, you guys are? Listening, listening and? Looking. And looking at me. So I wanna see everybody's eyeballs. Can I see everyone's eyeballs? I don't see eyeballs in the back there. Eyeballs? Okay, that's what I wanna see while I'm teaching you guys. I wanna see your eyeballs, okay? The third rule, and I think is the most important rule, is to have fun. Can you guys do that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you sure you can have fun? Yeah. I don't know. Are you really sure? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll believe you for now, but I want to see some fun. All right. We're going to make this recipe today. It's called pineapple and black bean salsa. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how to make it first, and then you guys are going to do it in your group. So for right now, I just need everybody to look and listen while I talk, and then I'll tell you when it's time to go. Is everybody cool with that? Yeah, okay, so tropical fruits like pineapple, they are good for you because they have something in them called fiber. Who's heard of fiber before? Does anybody know what fiber does when you eat it? It makes you feel full. So when you eat foods that have a lot of fiber in them, they make you feel nice and full, all right? So, and it's also really good for your heart health. It's really good for things called cholesterol. Anytime you eat things that are high in fiber, they're really good for you. So tropical foods have, uh, fruits have a lot of fiber. So we're gonna say give a high fiber five, that might be hard to say, for tropical fruits, okay? So when I say give me, you guys are gonna say high fiber five. Let's practice it. High fiber five. That's a lot of Fs, right? So I'm gonna say give me a? High fiber five. 
Oh my gosh, you guys said you were fun. That didn't sound very fun to me. You wanna try it again? Yeah. Okay, ready? Give me a? High five. Five, good, for tropical fruits. Very good, that's what I wanna hear. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this salsa. You guys are gonna watch while I'm doing it, and then you guys are gonna do it, and Kaya and Brent and I are gonna come out and help you. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay, so let's check first that we have all of our ingredients. Does everybody have in front of you a recipe, a piece of paper? Yeah? yeah? So first is black beans. Does everybody have black beans in front of them? Yeah. yeah. Does everybody have pineapple? Yeah. How about green bell pepper? Yeah. Cilantro? Yeah. Lime wedges? Okay, salt and pepper is already on the bell peppers, so I put the salt and pepper on already for you, so you didn't have to. And then does everybody have whole grain tortilla chips? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. So we're going to use these ingredients to make our salsa, okay? So in front of you, you're also going to have a bowl, and you're going to have a spatula like this, and a serving spoon, okay? So in order for me to make this salsa, I need a helper. Does someone want to be my helper? You asked me, so you come up and help. What's your name? Oswaldo Okay, Oswaldo? Uh, yeah, okay, come on up. So you're gonna be my helper, okay? So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna mix all of these ingredients together and then we're gonna squeeze the limes on top. So you need to be really strong to squeeze those limes, okay? That's the first step. And then we're actually gonna make, we're gonna make, it's like, a, it's like nachos in a bag. Has anybody ever had that before? Or like walking nachos, okay? So we're gonna start with our black beans. Gonna dump those in the bowl for me. Good, and then you can just set the cup off to the side, okay? Then the pineapple. Make sure when you open this that you smell it. It smells so good, smell it. Doesn't that smell so good? Okay, pineapple in. Then we're gonna add our green bell pepper that has salt and pepper on it. Now, have you guys ever had green bell peppers before? Are they hot and spicy? No, what are they? They're sweet, right? They're sweet and crunchy. If you like spicy peppers, you could use jalapenos instead of green bell peppers in this recipe. But we didn't want to make it spicy because not everybody likes spicy food, okay? Green bell peppers that have salt and pepper, dump them on there. Very good. And then we're gonna take our limes out and we're gonna set them to the side for right now. And then dump in the cilantro. If it doesn't want to come out of the bowl, you have this spatula, you can use that to help get it out if you need it, okay? And then we have two lime wedges. You think you can strong enough to squeeze those on there? Yeah? Let's yeah? squeeze them all over. Nice and, nice and strong. One, then the next one. Okay. Oh, <laughs> try not to squeeze it in your eye. <laughs> all right, very good. And then you're gonna use this spatula and you're gonna gently stir it all together. Can you do that? Yeah, gently mix it all together. And this is our salsa. So this may look a little different than salsa you've ever had before because it doesn't have the tomatoes in it. It's not red. Nice job. I think that's good. Everybody give them a round of applause for being an awesome helper. Thank you. Nice job, buddy. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to assemble your nachos. So what you're going to do is everybody has a plastic baggie in front of them. Does everybody have a plastic bag? Double check. Yeah? So you're going to take some chips and you're going to use these, the tongs, to get the chips. You're not going to do this, right? We're not going to stick our hands in there because everybody has to take from the same bowl. So we're going to use the tongs and we're going to put some chips. Not right now, everybody. Look here. We're going to put some chips in the bottom of our bag. Okay? Make sure that you have enough chips for everybody. So don't fill your bag all the way up with chips, right? Just in the bottom like that because we have to have enough chips for everybody to share. Then you can either use your spatula or your serving spoon and you're gonna take some of your salsa and you're gonna pour it over your chips like that and then close the bag. And what are you gonna do? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake your nachos. You have to sing that song when you do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're gonna shake it all up just like that. Get it all mixed up and then you have a fork and you can eat it right out of the bag with your fork or you can dump it on your plate and eat it off your plate. Everybody cool with that? Yeah. Guys think you can handle it? Ready? Everybody ready? Give me two thumbs up if you're good. All right, let's do it. So the lesson was good today. It was uh, it's a way to get fruits to kids in a little bit different way. Um, it's a savory recipe. It's a salsa. Um, kids are probably used to eating like a tomato-based salsa, but not something like this that has beans and fruit in it. So it's just another way to try to get fruit into their diets.
We really try to mix food groups when we do these lessons. There's always a star ingredient, but we want to add in things like vegetables and beans so they can get some protein and more fiber and using the whole grain tortilla chips so we get a whole grain in there. So really trying to stay around that my plate model um, that we've been using for you know all of our lessons and all of our after school nutrition programs. Okay, so everybody look up here for a second. While you're making your nachos in a bag, if you look on the other side of your recipe sheet, there's a worksheet. So on your worksheet, there's three directions. The first one says fill in the blank in the bubble, and it says give a high blank five for tropical fruit. What do we write in there? Fiber, right. You're gonna complete the maze, do the maze from one tropical fruit to the other, okay? All right, so while you guys are eating and doing your worksheet, when you're all done, anything that's garbage, like the plastic bowls, um, any old napkins, your plates, your fork, the baggies, anything that's garbage needs to go where? Garbage can, right? And then anything that's like this, like the mixing bowl and the spatula, bring it up here and put it into this tub up here, but make sure you scrape any food out of it first and then put it in this dish tub, okay? Can you guys do that? You know, when I was doing this recipe, I was thinking like, oh, we could just do a plate and put the salsa on the plate. And I'm like, how can we make it a little more fun, a little more interactive? And then that's when the idea of like the walking taco or the walking nachos came up to put it in the bag and shake it up. And it's just a little, again, just something a little more fun, putting it, making food a little more fun for them and making it an active snack, something they could do with their families if they want to. Thank you.